What did that look like for you? You talked about the days where, you know, and we, we've been through this as well with a family when we've run out of medication and the panic. I mean, it's so distracting. The only thing you can think about is how how quickly can we resolve this? And that's hours on the phone. I mean, it's almost a part-time job. What did that look like for you with IH, um, the difference between being on treatment and not as a student? Yes. Oh my God. It's like night and day um, as a student and as an adult too. Um, you know, when, when I'm not on treatment, I'm really, um, I'm constantly in and out of sleep spells, you know, um, but without treatment, you know, I was having seven or eight sleep spells in a day. Um, some short, some much longer, you know, and they're really unpredictable, you know. So it would go from, you know, maybe being two minutes and someone not even realizing that I'd had a spell because, you know, if, you know, if my head is down, sometimes people don't, didn't even know to, you know, I'm out, you mm-hmm. know, for 45 minutes or two hours. You know, and naps for me aren't refreshing at all. Right. So right. sometimes, you know, the recommendations for some sleep disorders are, well, you know, schedule some naps throughout the day. If I take a nap, I'm gone. Mm. <laughs> there is no like get up in 20 minutes. You know, right. my body is like and then the sleep inertia kicks in right. where, you know, it's just really hard to get out of sleep. It feels like someone's like choking me or holding me underwater you know, as I'm trying to get up. Um, And, you know, I've tried to create different life hacks, some that work some days, some that don't, to kind of break through when sleep inertia happens. Um, And it still happens with treatment, but much fewer times. 